everybody. Welcome back to our podcast. I am Althea Rain. Mahalo Smythe. And Yuri Inoku. And we are your hosts for Tre Geek. Uh, first, we got to talk about a funny little um, segment here. Michael Myers wanted in Georgia on Friday the 13th. Grantham County, Georgia. A man named Michael Myers is wanted in Chatham County. The Chatham County Sheriff's Office posted on Facebook that they were searching for the 44-year-old. The Sheriff's Office says Myers is wanted for a probation violation. Myers just happened to have the same name as the movie character Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise. The sheriff's office also published the post on Friday the 13th, but say the timing is pure coincidence. I don't know why the timing matters. It's not like he's the same psycho killer. Maybe it doesn't a matter because mistake. It doesn't matter because it's not Halloween. <laughs> right. Oh, so it, I mean, if they posted it on Halloween, that would have been absolutely hysterical. It, and, and saying that the timing is pure coincidence would have even made it funnier. But the fact is, they don't have the right psycho killer for a Friday the 13th. That was Jason Voorhees. It's, I, I don't know, I saw that and just immediately facepalmed. It's like, I gotta send this to Althea because she's gonna get a kick out of this. Oh, I do. <laughs> Michael Myers is, uh, I, I mean, I've said it before, I, I'll say it again. Halloween is my favorite horror franchise ever from the original. Um, I, I am purely uh, 1978, uh, 1981, and 1998 um, fanatic. I am purely a fan of the original, Halloween 2, and Halloween H20, 20 years later. So everything else I can forget about, but those three films are among my three favorite films of all absolute all time michael myers is my favorite psycho killer halloween is one of my favorite holidays i even share a birthday with the original michael myers nick castle obviously not the same birth year but i digress same birthday so i have every reason in the world to love michael myers i got an absolute kick out of this yeah so to set some context, it's happening in like Chatham County, which is like deep south. It's basically if you ever heard of Savannah, which is like a deep old south town. Uh, it was the original capital of Georgia. Uh, Chatham County is the the county that Savannah is in. Um, and, but the the news article comes from WSB, which is one of the uh, largest uh, largest local TV stations in the United States. Um, is based in Atlanta. I kind of expected at least a little bit of fact checking from, <laughs> from this news outlet before they went and posted it. And they're not the only ones who posted it. Lots of other news outlets have also posted it if you go Google it. And so I don't understand how no one said, hey, there's not really a coincidence here uh, because this is the wrong franchise. Friday the 13th has nothing to do with Halloween. <laughs> well, the the interesting thing is I'm I'm on their website like the Facebook post and then the they actually said if we can find him today we'll repost on Halloween. So that was kind of <laughs> like that was kind of okay, funny on that end. Check <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is hilarious. So that's yeah. a, absolutely a short segment, uh, but, you know, we had to address it because it's hysterical, uh, nevertheless. Yeah. So, on that note, <laughs> let's talk about an absolute much more serious matter. Um, this one happened uh, rather recently, and as of yet, we don't have any updates to the situation. Um, Jeremy Renner, he was in a pretty severe accident uh, within the last couple of weeks and man oh man uh, he's lucky to be alive so there was a snowplow incident with him near his home where um, he his legs were run over by a snowplow 
And, uh, yeah. That's it's, crazy. It is. It's absolutely, um, absolutely horrifying. Um, <clears throat> so, he's been hospitalized since January 1st. He was airlifted to a me local medical center. His uh, neighbor had saved his life by uh, using a tourniquet on him. Um, he suffered blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries. Um, he ended up going under emergency surgery the very next day. Um, on January 3rd, he gave his first update, posting a selfie from his bed. Thank you for all your kind words. I'm too messed up now to type, but I send love to you all. And a couple days later, you know, there was an Instagram story where his sister could have been mess mess massaging his head and making her brother laugh as their mother looked on during what the actual actor wrote was a spa moment to lift my spirits. Um, in recent days, <clears throat> in like the last week or so, I, I would say, I would say, it's been extremely concerning because people are wondering if he's going to walk again or if he's going to need to have amputation on his legs. Uh, we don't actually have a full update on how his legs are going right now on, on whether or not they can be saved. So we will um, at least make a post, um, if not a short, based on um, what comes up in future updates did it um, say like how the accident happened like how his legs got pulled up under a snow uh a yes. snow plow yes um it says here uh washoe county sheriff darren balam i might be pronouncing that wrong said in a press conference the same day that Renner was helping a family member get a stuck vehicle out of the estimated three feet of snowfall from the night before when the incident occurred. Mr. Renner went to retrieve his uh, snow cat, uh, Piston Bully, I think is what he either named it or what it's called. It's an extremely large piece of snow removal equipment weighing at least 14,330 pounds. Holy shit. In an effort to get his, this vehicle moving, he successfully towed the person's vehicle from the stuck location. He got out of his snowcat to speak to the family member. And apparently, um, at this point, a safety mechanism failed on his snowcat. The sheriff says, it is, at this point it is observed that the piston bully started to roll in an effort to stop the rolling piston bully, Mr. Renner attempts to get back into the driver's seat. Based on our investigation, it's at this point that he was run over by the snowcat. It wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't, I'm a little unclear, it wasn't still running, but he had got out of it and it started rolling. It started rolling. So like, yeah, like the like safety, safety mechanism, mechanism broke. Failed. So gotcha. that's like that's like a like a freaking lawsuit for that company because like they should check those before selling them like I guess oh, yeah, he is, got it recently true. too. I think he got it recently too. Pounds so it was just legs. the sheer weight of the thing that crushed his legs basically. Yeah. And there's like a video of it. I don't know if um if you saw that, but that thing is ridiculously massive. <laughs> like Well, I mean, living where he's living, you're talking about three feet of snow. You'd have to have something that heavy duty to deal with that kind of snow. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, I absolutely understand why he would have a snow cat like that. Oh, yeah. But my god. Imagine getting run over by 14,000 pound equipment. Mm-hmm. Jeez. If his legs recover from this and he doesn't lose them, he will be extremely lucky. And I am absolutely hoping that he that he is extremely lucky in this. 
I yeah. have no ill will or ill wishes against Mr. Renner. I I hope for the best recovery for you, man. I love seeing him as a Hawkeye. I I love every role yes. this man has been in. He's been a good actor. Yes, he is. Like I love. Sounds like he was just trying to him. help somebody. He was trying to help yeah. somebody, and it bit him in the ass. I mean, uh, I can't even. Life. Okay, so I can't even imagine that person that he tried to help, like. As well, that person must be feeling like, holy crap, like, it's my fault. Like, if I didn't ask for help, he wouldn't be in the situation. Like, I also feel bad, you know, in regards to the mental health of both of them. Both Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a tough situation. Yeah. Because, you know, it's like, it's not really, it's not really, um their fault but you know yeah, like, of course. In that situation well, you might feel bad about accidents. it you know going going back to another thing um anton yelchin who was um uh, chekhov in the jj abrams uh star trek franchise he died in a yeah. accident too with his he, jeep he got yeah he got pinned uh, his jeep um what was it another safety mechanism fail yes it was his the Jeep, brakes. The brakes um, failed, and his Jeep rolled into him, pinning him. What was it between him and what the mailbox or something? It was like uh, um, like it was between the... it. It's like one of those heavy stone mailboxes, and it pinned him between. Yeah. Them. yeah. It's like old brick type. That's. Oh, yeah. it just gave me yeah. goosebumps. And he was such a. He was a, a young actor. actor. Yes. He was young. And I was, loved his role in Star Trek. It was such a tragedy. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, shit like this happens apparently all the time. Freak accidents just can come up and... and... I mean, the celebrities are just people like us, so... Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. freak accidents happen to, you know... And the sad thing is, is, you know, freak accidents like this that happen, if they don't happen to celebrities chances are you'll never know that these freak accidents could happen or did. The yeah, only reason point. why we know that it happened to Anthony Yelchin or that we know that it happened to Jeremy Renner is because they're both very big name celebrities that have now been either killed or possibly disabled by these things. Oh well, yeah, there is the thing with... um. Uh, was it Camrys and having break issues? And it took a lot of people was, getting killed I before. Think... Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I think when that happened to Anthony Yelchin, the entire line of vehicles that that he'd had was recalled. I think, if I remember correctly, there was a recall on that make and model of his vehicle. For it. I know what the I know what the Camrys were the Camrys there's a while where like Camrys um uh had like faulty brakes in them and uh it took several people dying before there was a recall or anything because they didn't want to have to recall and fix a whole line of Camrys. Yeah. Um uh my car I had a uh I had a 2008 um what are they called chevy um cobalt and uh we kept getting recall notices for years on that car for the ignition ignition i didn't we kept getting uh recall notices for the ignition on that car and then i didn't realize it was such a big deal turns out people have been killed because the ignition would break and they couldn't stop the car from running. Wow. Or it was like just start up without them like, you know, turning it. Like it was like actually a really big deal. And we just ignored it because it's like whatever. Eventually our ignition did break. We couldn't get the car to turn off. I had to get my brother to come over and like pull spark plugs out of the engine so it would go off. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, brakes issues. Always make sure your brakes are good. Um, 
you know, you don't want to be one of these incidents that this kind of crap happens to. Yeah. If you get a recall notice, pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. get it fixed. Absolutely. Um, so they're not recalling it because they're just being really nice. No. If they're recalling it, they know they're potentially facing some lawsuits. Serious problems. Lots of lawsuits. They it's better for them to change the piece or the equipment than paying damages. <laughs> yeah, when it's that bad, it's really bad. Because if they mm -hmm. can get away with just paying the damages and that's cheaper, that's what they'll do. <laughs> so then yeah. recalling the part. So So there's been there is like a documentary and everything about the cobalt emissions. Like it was really bad, and I just ignored it until basically it was not ignorable anymore. Um, not the right approach. So yeah, Jeremy Ryan, we hope that you uh, make a full recovery and that your legs uh, manage to survive this. Thanks for geeking out with us this week. If you enjoy our content, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next segment. Bye! Bye.